Hi guys, good morning, welcome to Full Time Devils. I'm Adam McCollar, this is Transfer Daily. The Monday morning blues have hit me harder than usual today. Always feels worse after Manchester United have lost over the weekend and that Southampton defeat hit me right in the gut. Manchester United fortunately are in FA Cup action on Friday though, so hopefully we can get that defeat out of our system very, very quickly. The pressure has obviously been on Louis van Gaal since that defeat though and papers and headlines all over the place talking about the Dutchman. Um, Jose Mourinho linked to Manchester United again over the weekend and apparently he had written a love letter to Manchester United's officials saying that he wanted the job, that what he would do differently, what he sees the problems of as Manchester United at the moment and of course how he would embrace the club and change his ways to become a long-term Manchester United manager seems a little bit far-fetched although we know of Jose Mourinho's love for Manchester United and how much he would actually want the job it does seem a bit far-fetched that a manager would put himself all the way out there like that but it is, seems that Jose Mourinho will be back in management very very soon he's been speaking working with Jorge Mendes and of course Jesse Fu as well in China at soccer schools and soccer talks and all this kind of stuff and he's been speaking about how he'll be back in management very very soon so it looks like something that could happen and I wouldn't be surprised as the days go by and Jose Mourinho, and the pressure builds on Louis van Gaal Jose Mourinho becomes a more better and better option um, obviously he gives you quick fire short-term success and right now that's what Manchester United need obviously we need to look at the bigger picture but this is why I think a lot of people are considering Jose Mourinho at the moment because of the way things are and how bad things are the next move that Manchester United make in terms of a manager has to be spot on do I trust the board to do that no not really um, but this is it has to be right this next one has to be right and that's why I think Giggs is too much of a risk and why Jose Mourinho is becoming the better option as days go by. And I never, ever, ever thought I would say something like that. Moving on from that, anyway, and to, yeah, and anyway, on that, Jose Mendes denied the love letter. That was the whole point of that story. Sorry. Anyway, moving on from that, and to a man that has lit up my football manager 2016 career, Rodrigo Bentaka. The Barca Juniors midfielder has been linked to Manchester United. Now, he's amazing on Football Manager for me, but that doesn't always translate into real life now, does it? And I haven't seen much of his football or his action in real life. So guys, what do you know about Rodrigo Bentaka, the Barca Junior mid Bucca Juniors midfielder. Is he a talent? Would he do at Manchester United? Could he change things for us? Let us know in the comments below. He has been linked to Manchester United by ESPN um, and Real Madrid also as well. And this article seems to be based on the fact that he was asked about the Real Madrid rumours and he replied saying that he was a fan of Manchester United and he wouldn't mind moving there one day. Um, so it looks like if we were interested, we could entice him to the club. But what do you think? Should we make a move for him or not. Ganoa goalkeeper Mattia Peran has also been linked to Manchester United as well this morning by the Daily Star though. They say David De Gea could be off in the summer. It's already a flaw in the st story because we all know Real Madrid can't make any transfers this summer. So it's very unlikely David De Gea will leave Manchester United. Floor number one. Floor number two, Damian is s s apparently acting as some sort of broker for the move which is very, very odd. Why would a player act like a broker and discuss things with another player about him coming to another club? Just doesn't make sense to me. Daily Star, better off wiping your ass with. And that's exactly what I do with this story. Not worth the time of day. Some confirmed news though. Victor Valdez has moved on loan standards de Liège to end his Manchester United nightmare. Now all this outpouring of sympathy for Victor Valdez, I just can't get my head around it. Seems like anybody wants to use it as another stick to beat Louis van Gaal with when in fact the problem may have lied with the player and if Louis van Gaal gave him a chance and brought him to the club in the first place despite the fact not many other people would and then he refuses to play in all this you know there's more than what meets the eye and I think Victor Valdez has pulled the wool over a lot of Manchester United fans eyes also pictures of Memphis at, Par at PSV Eindhoven the other day getting a warm reception he needs to be on the pitch for Manchester United and not on the pitch at PSV waving at fans. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all the rumours discussed 
today. Jose Mourinho's love letter denied by Jorge Mendes, but could he be the next Manchester United manager? Rodrigo Bentica, football manager legend for me, but could he be a future star for Manchester United if we were to sign him? Mattia Peran, that's a load of rubbish. And Victor Valdez finally seals his move away from Manchester United, albeit on loan. Guys, get your comments in below. Let us know what you think. According to a French media outlet, we have had a meeting with Pep Guardiola in Paris, of all places. 